Hey folks, this is Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This video is going to be James Arthur Ray Swept Lodge deaths. I'm going to warn you before I get started. I'm going to get a little heated on this. I'm going to try to calm myself down. But these, lo these spiritual lunatics, they really irritate me. And I may, I may say some stuff I probably shouldn't say, but I'll try to keep myself calm. Okay. Those people died because James Ray does not understand the first principle of true spiritual training, which is baby step. Those people died because of a baby step violation. And, you know, I got to a point in my life where I needed help. I didn't know what I was doing. I, I first dedicated myself to science. Science didn't have an answer. I'm not saying that science doesn't have a lot of answers, but it didn't have the answers to save my life. Next thing I dedicated myself to was religion. Guess what religion didn't do? It didn't save my life either. Making no false promises don't help you when you really need help. What did save me? Doing whatever it took to save my butt. And I didn't have any time for nonsense. So notice what happened. I was just as much spirit. I was first scientist. And then I tried spirituality. Which was religion. It didn't save me. And then through my process of saving my own life. Basically, I developed nine principles that work. They're universal principles. They work anywhere and everywhere. In every aspect of life, they're universal principles of growth. And basically, what I boiled it down to is there's one thing. Growth is all that matters. And from there, there's nine principles. And the first principle on these universal principles is baby steps. These people died because they, James Ray didn't understand baby steps. Because what was, what was James Ray worried about? He was worried about ego. What else was James Ray worried about? He was worried about pleasure. He wanted more extort more money from him so he could have more pleasures. And he also wanted to feel better about himself having people following. And and that's my uh, principle seven is know your enemies, ego and pleasure. It's not only within you, your own egotistical pleasure seeking ways, but it's to other people's egotistical pleasure seeking ways. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this. I don't know about you. I am absolutely sick and tired of people like James Arthur Ray and other cult leaders killing people, promise them utopia, promise them some big change. When big changes, all they do is lead to, to disasters like we see in this sweat lodge. And then, obviously, James Ray's not going to take any personal responsibility for his actions. He's going to try to cover it up because he's all about cons you know, conserving his money and his image and keep people following. This also brings up the movie Into the Wild. If you haven't seen it, basically the boy does a baby step violation, goes out in the woods unprepared, you know, and, and, and he winds up dying as, as a result of it, which was, you know, maybe not totally expected, but from from a baby step violation, you can pretty much expect bad things to happen, and that's sure enough what happened. The boy should have took about five years to baby step himself into that kind of situation and just sort of instead of just headlong into something. And again, everybody wants to go headlong into everything. Baby step violation. Stick with baby step always. Okay. And if you're if you're a person who wants some spiritual advice and you and let's say you don't, you say, ah oh, man, whatever. I don't care what you got to say. Well, I do have a video out there called Evaluating Spiritual Practices. You should go watch that. And evaluate it compared to the spiritual practice you're doing. I mean, it'll give you solid advice on how to evaluate it. It's just scientific principles applied to spirituality. It's not real complicated. Just get your mind stuck off stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard. And that's why I go back to your know your enemies, ego and pleasure. Why are we stuck on stupid? Ego. Sorry, man. I got a little, little crazy. I just, I'm really sorry. I just cannot tell you how sick and tired of BS being preached and nobody saying nothing and just people just suck it up like it's the truth. Again, all spirituality boils down to one thing, growth. Is there anything lunatic about growth? No, look outside your window. The grass is growing. Look outside your window, the tree's growing. It's obvious it all boils down to growth. There's nothing complicated at all about it. And from there, I've got nine principles that help you achieve optimal growth or effective growth however, or maximal growth, however you want to say it. Let me just read through these principles, how simple they are. None of them's complicated, none of them's kooky, none of them's... You don't have to make no false promises, you don't have to believe nothing. It's science, this is where science and spirituality collide 
to produce real results. People think that scientific principles don't apply to spirituality. That is bullshit. Plain and simple. Scientific principles do apply to spirituality just like they apply to everything else. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little, I, I just get a little irritated. I'm tired of people not getting it. Alright, so let me calm down. Boy, I'm going to get hot. <laughs> let me just read these principles and just show you how simple it is. Baby steps. Nothing hard about that. Apply yourself. Obvious. Discipline. Heard that before. Attention. Question everything. Cult leaders, they don't want you to question nothing. Religion, don't want you. can't question religion. No, you can't, ch you can't question my chosen book. How dare you? No, we question everything. If somebody won't allow you to question, you get the hell away from them because they're crazy. Know your teacher reality. No, notice what I didn't say. I didn't say somebody died 2,000 years ago is your teacher. No, I'm telling you right now to your face, your teacher is reality. It ain't no damn book. It never has been. It's always been reality and always will be reality. Somebody can guide you back to reality, but if they're trying to make you their teacher, or they're trying to make them your teacher, get away from them. Lunatics. They're crazy. Get you killed like this guy did. Stupid asses. Know your enemies. Ego and pleasure. I mean, we all know it's piss poor to be self-centered. We all know that pleasure's not really your friend. I mean, if pleasure is your friend, we'd all be drug addicts. You know? It's obvious. Seek harmony and peace. What the hell is wrong with doing that? Nothing. Exactly. Right. Nothing's wrong with it. Simplicity. I mean, look at the wild animals, man. They live so simple compared to you. If you go out in the woods, you take a backpack, you still carry more than a wild animals. And then that's not even nearly the amount of stuff you have at home. I mean, you just... I mean, I'm not even... I got ten times more stuff than I need. I always try to live simpler. Point is, folks... If you get caught up with these lunatics, you almost get what you deserve. I, I mean, I try to help people. I try to put stuff out there to help people so they can make real spiritual progress without getting screwed up. And I've got a blog out there and the, the link, there'll be a link in the information section. You can go check it out and you can read it for yourself. It's real simple. You don't have to believe nothing. You don't have to follow me. You just, you just do it. Do it for yourself. Figure it out. It works. Problem is, people don't want real spiritual practice. They still want to go this way towards ego and pleasure and at the same time be spiritual. And guess what? You can't do that. you got to give that stuff up and go this way towards truth. There's only three things that people see. Ego, pleasure, and truth. They're on different hands. You can either seek one or the other, but you can't seek both hands at the same time. You may falsely believe you are, but you're not. Hopefully I haven't pissed nobody off. No, at least not too much. But I really am getting sick and tired. There's a spiritual revolution coming, folks. Scientific principles are going to be applied to your spirituality. And a lot of you ain't going to like it because you, you can't handle the truth. But the truth, real truth, helps real people when they have real problems. If you wouldn't mind, please rate the video. And I hope you're not too mad. Later, folks.